What do you make of the of what I would term the pendulum that has swung? That if we go back two or three years, every North American based automaker was proclaiming that it was moving toward an all EV lineup. And three years later, well, those plans are delayed and well, the the customer doesn't want it. And there's range anxiety. What I mean, what do you make of, of that complete shift? Yeah. Yeah. Heard? They just haven't driven enough lucids? No, well, that, that, that's part of the reason. But the reality is, so so from the customer perspective, they haven't driven and experienced a true high tech, state of the art EV like a Lucid. Right. It, it is. It is absolutely an amazing driving experience. Um, I know. That. I, I know. mean, I had. I'm, I'm the guy who had a Lotus when I was 21 years old. So you know, I, I, I I'm kind of a petrol head. Um, I guess I'm an electron head now. I've become. Uh, now I've I've, I've 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 crossed the the the, the great divide, but no, seriously, it is a immeasurably superior experience. I think that, and it's easy to generalise here, but I think that what's lacking and what's driving some of those commercial decisions from some of those automakers is that they have they're still working in this false paradigm that range is just a function of battery size. And we've just broken that mold. We've said, no, we don't. We challenge that. Uh, this is range as a function of technology. We want to go further with less batteries. So it, let's just look at uh, gravity, lucid gravity, which is about to come out. Um, we're pretty confident we haven't got the, the EPA range rating yet. We're still waiting that from the EPA. We're projecting it will exceed 440 miles range. It's got the same sort of battery architecture that you see in our Grand Touring. Uh, so it's around about 120 kilowatt hour pack size. We're going to disclose exactly. Now that's about half the battery pack size for a very similar range from some of the Detroit products that we're seeing today. So if you look at, you know, 120 kilowatt hour difference in pack size, Bloomberg puts a, a tribute to $128 cost to the automaker for a kilowatt hour of battery pack. So if your pack is 100 kilowatt hours more than a competitor, you're having to put $12,800 more into your bill cost. But there's a greater amount than that. We've probably got about $15,000 advantage over some of those automakers. And we can pass that on to the customer and make the product not only superior, but it's lighter, not just superior because there's less batteries, so there's more room for your feet and it's more comfortable, there's more leg room. The car's more dynamic, it's 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 more agile, and it costs us up to fifteen thousand dollars potentially less to manufacture in the first place and pass that on to the customer. And that's the difference between what I call dumb range, just stuffing in batteries, and smart range, which is a high tech science based solution, which we've applied. Is that because most I'll call them traditional automakers because they've been around longer than uh, a decade or two, but because they've known a certain propulsion system and they've, and they are now dabbling in a different propulsion system and have had to become experts where this is the only thing that you're focusing on. I, I think that's partly true. I think, I think what we've done is we've turned the car into a science project, hmm. realize that. So we've not, we've reached for the stars with a science project but we've been pragmatic enough to say, like, right, I wouldn't say pencils down. I'd say computer mice down. Now we're going to build the damn thing and put it in production, which we did. Because that's the, 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 there's a tension between that. You can, you can embark upon a, a, a never-ending research project, which never re real, re realizes production. So you need to balance that, um, that scientific approach, first principles of laws of physics, and... As computer, a deep sim computer simulation with an inherent pragmatism and realism and business reality. Right, we're gonna we we could make this perfect, but we're gonna go into production with what we've got, and then we refine it. Um, now, I think that that is at odds with most traditional automakers. Uh, we talk about the Germans to call it Entwicklung, which means development, engineering Entwicklung, the development program. And we often talk about engineering development as distinct from design, which is the studio. And I hate this word because it is developmental. And what 
we did with Air. And before that, when I was chief engineer at Tesla, when we did the, the Model S, very similar approach, turned Model S into a science project with deep computer simulation, very much driven by the laws of physics. And we took it to another step with Lucid Air. Um, Model S is a fundamentally an eight, uh, 400 volt architecture. Lucid Air is a 900 volt architecture. That's the step that, you know, tw 12 years on, we were able to do. Um, uh, I think it's that difference of approach that we made our product science projects, whereas a lot of the competition, it's a developmental exercise now an, another factor is very interesting to note how many of the traditional oes actually use bought-in drive units and motors you know if you look at the grandy german marks a number of them don't actually make their own motors and drive units they buy them in from people like um uh valio siemens suppliers, uh, yeah. suppliers magneti morelli uh we said right well we're going to be vertically integrated in our motor and inverter systems, not because we're arrogant, not because it's cool to be vertically integrated. There was a there was a, a profound uh, logic to that. We felt that nothing on the market was closely good enough, and we felt that we could we could create a more advanced technology in house. We've proven that. And the only people we could entrust to manufacture that was us. So mm. we took the decision to make all our electric powertrain system a battery, motor, inverter, transmission, and all the softwares in-house, uh, and the Wunder box, multi-purpose box, all in-house. That complete integrated synergistic system is manufactured, vertically integrated in our factory in Arizona.